the other thing is last year we had is it week to Mr. C? we had a, a glisten i don't know if you know what glisten is oh yeah we've yeah. heard of, yeah, sort of, heard of yeah, them, glisten. Yeah. we had the staff went uh, uh because they hadn't had it i don't think in a long time if yeah. ever honestly we no, had a never. Glisten training mm -hmm. about supporting you know LGBTQ, yeah. yeah. LGBTQ okay. That was our undercover investigation into an Albuquerque Public Schools middle school at Roosevelt Middle School. And let's talk about GLSEN. GLSEN is possibly the most radical, far left, progressive indoctrination group that I have seen yet inside of a middle school or a high school. And we're going to prove that to you here. If you go on their webpage, first of all, they got the uh, quick exit, press escape three times and exit. And they talk about how, you know, if your parents or someone you don't want to see come, you're on our website, you know, being indoctrinated, you can uh, quickly exit out of our site. So they build those protections into their site. And obviously that kind of ideology carries through to the actual schools themselves, mm -hmm. keeping this information from parents. Again, critical information about their child's mental health because mental health is, or, or a child's identity is a child's mental health. Mm -hmm. Mental health, rather. So we see here in New Mexico, especially, GLSEN is paired at the hip with the Albuquerque public school system and with the PED and even all the way up into the governor's office. They have condoned GLSEN as a part of our community, our school community. This is GLSEN NM, GLSEN New Mexico, GLSENNM.org. Mm -hmm. And it says one of their partners is, of course, Planned Parenthood. And another one is Albuquerque Public Schools, like you said. Yeah. And they're obviously into, you know, Planned Parenthood mm -hmm. is the provider of late-term abortions in the United States. And this one, TGRCM, is one of the other undercover trainings that we've already exposed that was, that was terrible. And <laughs> let's talk about the Rainbow Library that they have mm -hmm. for these schools. They've set mm -hmm. up how many? Um, so it says that 169 of New Mexico's schools have received a Rainbow Library. So that is LGBTQ-related library resources to their schools, 169 of New Mexico schools. And you ask yourself, what would be in a library like mm -hmm. this? Of course, activism materials, because on here they have this Solidarity Week, we'll talk about this more in a minute, mm -hmm. but how to get involved in student activism. And they give you, of course, you scroll down, you get a list of resources. They say, here's some different resources in this, and we'll check out some of these lists, or podcasts or audiobooks if you don't like reading. Mm -hmm. And so we click over here, and let's look at one of their lists of reading lists. So we have the following books here. We have Into the Streets, A Young Person's Visual History of Protest in the United States, Pride, the Celebration, Struggle. We Will Always Be Here, A Guide to Exploring and Understanding the History of LGBTQ Plus full Activism. Full of radical gender ideology, mm -hmm. obviously, mm -hmm. and then uh, full of critical race theory. We'll right. see a lot of critical race theory pop up in here. Books on anti-racism, etc. Anti-racism is critical race theory, that term. Mm -hmm. Enough is Enough, How Students Can Join the Fight for Gun Safety, so anti-gun legislature. Very anti-Second mm -hmm. Amendment, talking about how you get activists to defeat the Second Amendment, you know, any, any lobbyist group. So very one-sided. Mm -hmm. Oh, How to Change Everything, The Young Human's Guide to Protecting the Planet and Each Other. So, of course, we have climate change narratives being pushed in here as well. <laughs> Rise Up, How You Can Join the Fight Against White Supremacy. Again, a critical race theory narrative. And we have Say Her Name. This is a Black Lives Matter book, you know, talking about supporting Black Lives Matter, the mm -hmm. very radical uh, group that has you know, destroyed much of the country and found to be uh, very radical and corrupt. Obviously, they stole millions and millions of dollars, and they, they've been discovered that they just blew all that money, all that money that was supposed to roll back into black communities. That was exposed by a documentary uh, put out by, I believe, the Candace, Daily Wire. Candace oh, yes, Owens. Candy, Candace Owens. Mm -hmm. So feminism is... So radical feminism. Mm -hmm. They're not talking about first, second generation feminism. This is the most radical, you know, anti-Christian, anti-male version of feminism inside mm -hmm. of these books that you'll find. And the... Banned Book Club. Banned Book Club. This is a lot of those uh, most radical books that were found to have pornography for children and be wildly inappropriate materials for children yes. uh, inside these banned books. Mm -hmm. uh, more climate change and talking about their personal journey for this, you know, you know climate change, very much a one-sided narrative. <laughs> oh, Fault Lines in the Constitution, the graphic novel. It wouldn't be a complete leftist narrative library if it didn't be, if it wasn't anti-constitutional. That's right. Very much destroying the foundations of America. Mm -hmm. And we have the real cost of the prisons. And this has a built on the idea of critical race theory, critical theories, talking about the prison popu the prisons in America were built specifically to oppress the historically underprivileged, historically oppressed, marginalized communities. Mm -hmm. So more critical race theory there. 
what makes girls sick and tired? She's got blue hair, so that's got to be awesome. Okay. <laughs> so, and the awakening of Malcolm X, of and they're going to highlight the uh, Malcolm X over somebody like Martin Luther King. They, they very selectively you know, choose out Martin Luther King for ra radicals. Malcolm X is much more of that figure. They want the mm -hmm. radical type, of, type black, of activism. Black power, Black Panthers theory. Neil, of course, kneeling for the national anthem, supporting those ideas. Mm -hmm. And uh, a list of other so books many here. More. But we got a podcast, right? Uh, Nancy was one of the podcasts they recommend. They recommend these audiobooks beyond the gender binary. Uh, the Pocket Change Collective... So mm -hmm. we have Jane Against the World, Roe v. Wade and the Fight for Reproductive Rights. This is, again, in support of late-term abortion, radical abortion rights. And there is no in-between here. When you read through their materials, it's very much a uh, radical view on abortion. And the other side is not presented. This is what's being taught to our children. This is the materials being given to your children, the organizations pairing up with our schools. Mm -hmm. And, of course, rules for radical. Because no activist reading list would be complete without rules for radicals when you're on the very far left. Mm -hmm. Even and Hillary you Clinton uh, was one of her m most recommended readers when she was running for office, I remember. Yes, and so this is a very, very far left book. In fact, people on the right pick it up and they, people have even said, oh, we need to be more radical in our activism, all that. And this is one of those books that, you know, you borderline terrorism at times with the, with the type of actions that are taken. Mm -hmm. But back to Glisson, let's talk about Solidarity Week a little bit. So they have many, many programs that they push forward, and one of them is Solidarity Week. Um, this one, did you want me to read? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. In the days after the tragedy of Majority Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, students organized the largest single day of protest against gun violence in history. So again, anti-2A, only mm -hmm. presenting one side of things. In June, protests broke out across the country demanding justice for George Floyd, a black man who was killed by police in Minneapolis, Minnesota. As more murders of black people, including black transgender women, young people started organizing their own prote protests addressing anti-blackness and racism in their schools. Very much in support of the radical protests of Black Lives Matter. Mm -hmm. And they talk about this idea of critical race theory built into all these trainings of radical gender ideology. So very much an indoctrination mill. Mm -hmm. They say recognizing your own privilege is important to solidarity work because recognizing our privilege acknowledges they exist. Then we can take intentional, thoughtful, collective actions and uplift the most marginalized voices and elevate their leadership. And we have this uh, Solidarity Week guide. So they have guides all the way for students, elementary educators, middle school and high school educators, and community uh, conversations guide. So every anybody that would want to get involved in this, uh, this week to push this ideology, they're for it. And they've got a bunch of other resources. And we click into some of those resources for uh, Solidarity Week. This is the student guide. And it's just a little sampling of what they have. They talk about mm -hmm. the Gender and Sexuality Alliance. And they say it's important to understand and acknowledge your own privileges. Mm -hmm. Knowing your privileges also helps to offer ways that you can be useful to other groups, you know, to a group taking collective action to address oppression. Mm -hmm. So they're very much using that critical race theory uh, verbiage of oppressor versus oppressed, right? That is one of the three core tenets of critical race theory is oppressor versus oppressed cut along the lines of sex and gender and other, you know, perceived oppressed classes or victimhood status. Mm -hmm. So they say, it would be inappropriate for a cisgender ally to tell transgender people what they need in deciding their priorities. Making assumptions about what is best for people and making decisions for them is just another form of oppression, even with good intentions. And again, this idea of critical race theory, the victims are going to dictate how to make mm -hmm. things right and you have to listen to them because you gain moral virtue, the moral high ground, based on your victim class. The higher your victimhood, the more moral authority you have to speak and the more authority you have to shout someone else down. Mm -hmm. And this is all critical theories. So this was queer theory, right? Critical gender theory. Yes, ask, critical theories in general, yes. Right. So ask everyone to add their pronouns to their video platforms, Zoom, Google Hangouts, etc., and their email signatures. Folks can link to Glisten's pronoun guide or use it as a tool to explain to others the importance of sharing your pronouns. So, again, instilling this idea of radical gender ideology. This is not mm -hmm. normal. Pronouns are complete and utter garbage. And people trying to push this on, on students, and this is being pushed from the top down inside of our schools, that we're going to push these radical pronouns. And whatever you choose is just as valid as somebody else's pronouns. Mm -hmm. We've heard the most ridiculous pronouns coming out of elementary school, middle school, high school right now, people being wanting to be identified as zombie pronouns or mushroom pronouns. Like, it's... 
completely off the rails, but you cannot challenge these children mm -hmm. under this ideology. That's right. And Albuquerque Public Schools, back to their website, so we're back on the APS.edu website, and this is the National Glisten Day of Silence. They have their own Glisten page on Albuquerque, APS.edu. You go mm -hmm. here and you find this Glisten page. Uh, and you can see the drop down there. And they even have this proclamation here. So this is from our lovely governor. Last year on April 22nd, she proclaimed that April 22nd would be the Glisten Albuquerque National Day of Silence, partnering with Glisten. And so you can see her signature there, and you can see the signature of the Secretary of State, and these are obviously very far-left Democrat operatives that are pushing this and thrusting this ideology down our children's throats. And so this isn't just one single aspect like radical gender ideology. When they mm -hmm. say glisten inside of Albuquerque public schools, or pub this is public schools around the nation. Glisten is not just in Albuquerque, not just mm -hmm. in New Mexico. They are around the nation. But this just shows you that they're not a single facet. They are, they are the complete and total ideology. They are this enti the entirety of this cult-like church, cult-like ideology under the umbrella of Glisten. And this is what they want your children learning inside of public schools. We had uh, a Glisten. I don't know if you know what Glisten is. Oh, yeah, we've yeah, heard of Glisten. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, Glisten. 